Creative Arts. I am Nalima and today we are going to make this beautiful antique look plate wall decor using the reverse decoupage technique and get this beautiful crackling effects on the side of plate. Friends, this is one lovely piece you should definitely add in your collection of plate wall decors. So friends, please do make it yourself by watching the complete video and do subscribe my channel for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. All the materials needed to make this beautiful plate wall decor are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them. They are also shown in the video. So let's start this DIY now friends. Friends, let's quickly check out all the materials we are going to need for doing this DIY. First of all, we are going to need a round plate. So this is a round, plain, smooth textured plate which I have bought for Rs. 250. These plates were specially meant for decorations and decoupage or plate art. So this is a glass plate which I am going to use of about 25 centimeter in diameter next this is the decoupage paper i'm going to use for my decoupage art this time i'll surely mention the link in the description box below these are actually very affordable because you get four sheets of decoupage of a4 size in just rupees 75 so this is a great deal Next, you're going to need an acrylic paint. So you can either use acrylic paint or chalk paint, matte or glossy, that's completely your choice. Next, you're going to need a decoupage glue. So this is Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue. Next, we're going to do some crackling effect on this plate. So I'm going to use a one-step crackling medium. This is the best crackle medium I have come to know. So you should definitely buy this one if you want to get that crackling effect. Next is the decor varnish. I'm going to use the gloss one. And other than that, you're going to need a scissor for cutting, flat hair brush or a sponge. And a palette like this. So let's start now friends. First of all, we will start from cleaning the surface we are going to work on. So here I'm going to use some glass cleaner. If you want, you can also use a rub alcohol. The most important thing is to clean the surface on which you're going to work. So I'm going to remove these tapes. And then friends, using a tissue paper, nicely clean the complete surface of the plate in this way. Do the same from the front side also. So whenever you're going to work on a glass base like this, you have to always be sure that your surface is very clean. And this is the display side. So we are going to work on the back side of the plate. So this is the most important part. Clean your plate before you start working. Okay, so we are sure about it now. We'll place it in this way. Let's take out our decoupage paper. So this is the piece I want to be placed on the center part of the plate which is this part uplifted part i'll take a measurement now i'm just going to press the paper to the corners in this way you can notice that we are getting the shape this is the easy way to do it okay so when you turn the paper you can clearly see this is the round we have got and i'm going to start cutting it from one side using my scissor here we have got it and now I'm going to use Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue pour it in my palette and then using the flat hair brush start placing the decoupage glue on the plate first in this way I'm not going to apply a lot of it because that is not required and then place the decoupage napkin exactly on place in this way using two fingers start pressing it from inside out in this way and then make sure that there are no bubbles and your decoupage paper is absolutely fitting to your plate so this was actually the easiest and the most important part which we have already completed so now we will let it get dry and plan for the sides. Now friends, our decoupage glue has got it dried up completely. So now using a flat hair brush, I'm going to place white acrylic color on the back side of decoupage. So this is going to act as a supporting color to the decoupage. It's not a compulsion. 
but it can give brightness to your decoupage paper or decoupage napkin. Now let it get dry and now when the paint has also got dried up so using a file I'm going to file the corners of the page as there is a lift up in the glass plate in this part so our plate will be cut exactly to that shape so just using a nail file I'm going to file the paper on that surface so that we can get the exact round shape of decoupage on the plate just press the file and and pull it backwards which will make a very easy cut once you have done completed filing the paper from all the sides gently remove the paper and any kind of excess decoupage glue which has turned transparent on the sides Using a tissue paper, I'll clean the remaining sides for our next process part. So now we have got a very clean and clear edge of the decoupage paper we have placed. So now friends, it's time for our next step for which we are going to use one step crackle medium. So this is one of the best cracking mediums I have come to know and this works really good for the decoupage. So now I'm going to pour some of it in my palette and then Using a flat hair brush, I'm going to apply it from the sides to the down in this way. I'm going to give a thick layer on the top. I'm going to leave the bottom as empty because that is the design and direction I want. So if you can observe that I'm not doing it the whole way, I'm just doing it to the one third of the blade and making sure to have a thick consistency on this edge part, on the top edge part. Okay, this is perfect. So I will let it get dry for some time, at least 10 minutes. Now friends, after 10 minutes, the crackle medium has also got dried up. So now here I have taken some golden color in my palette. This is absolute gold metallic and using a flat hair brush I'm going to spread it on my palette from the bottom to the upwards direction. Just do only one pull because one pull will be enough and we're going to do it only on the one third part of the plate in this way. So now we are back to square one and now we will let the golden color get dry until that I'm going to prepare my next color which we are going to overlap on the crackle medium. So here I have taken some pearl green metallic color and I want it to look some dark so I'm going to use a little bit of ultramine blue and mix them both. I actually want a dark dark color. Okay. I think this color will do. Now friends, our golden color has also got dried up and our green color is also ready. So this is how our green metallic color looks. So now using a flat hair brush, I'm going to give a very simple layer of green on the back side of the plate. You can also use a black if you're not good with this color combination. You just have to cover the whole part of the plate in this way when you're doing it green just have to swipe your paintbrush from up to down once okay now leave your plate to get dry do not do it twice because from the first side I have done it I have already started getting the cracks so we will let it get dry and then I'll show you how beautiful the cracks look so now friends the golden color on the back side of the plate has got it dried up completely so let's turn our plate and see so friends this is how beautiful our plate looks from the front side and this is clean and clear you can easily clean the plate from the front side whenever you want and look at the beautiful crackles we have got with the bright gold from the back side i just love the crackling effect we have received it really gives a illustration of old and antique 
I absolutely love the combination of peacock green and gold. If you want, you can also use a bright pink color or black color, which will give an illustration of depth. But this time, I wanted to try something different, so I have used peacock green, which also goes with the antique colors and looks like the rusted copper color. So in all, I just love the effect we have got. So friends, please give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this video friends. And if you do like my videos, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.